Sturgeon are among the oldest of all freshwater fish species. These ancient fish have survived for over 200 million years. Sturgeon are also the largest freshwater giants of North America by a considerable margin. And in this video, we'll discuss all of the recognized species of the North American continent, each with its own story, range, and size. Unlike some of the fish species previously discussed in this series, some sturgeon aren't strictly confined to freshwater, but are anadromous, meaning that they can spend parts of their life cycle in both freshwater and saltwater. Also unlike most fish, yet similar to sharks, sturgeons have skeletons made out of cartilage rather than bone, and they have skin rather than scales. They also have signature rows of bony plates called scutes along their bodies, which can actually be dangerously sharp when the sturgeon is young. However, as the sturgeon grows older, these wear down and become much more dull. Sturgeon don't have teeth, but instead use their mouth like a vacuum to suck up their prey. Several of the species that we're going to discuss today are endangered and vulnerable to extinction. In doing research for this video, I have become amazed with these remarkable fish, and I'm excited to share what I have learned about each of these species. First up on the list is the Alabama sturgeon. The Alabama sturgeon was once widespread in the Mobile River Basin. However, it is now one of the rarest fish in North America. It is currently believed to exist in only 130 miles of the lower Alabama River. Listed as critically endangered, only a few dozen are believed to remain in the wild. This species is not anadromous, living the entirety of its life cycle only in freshwater. This fish can be yellowish or almost orange in color. It grows to be about 30 inches in length with a typical weight of two to five pounds, which is actually quite small relative to the other sturgeons that we're gonna be looking at today. There have been no confirmed sightings in recent years, though recent DNA samples suggest that the species still exist in at least two areas of Alabama. Great conservation efforts will need to extend long into the future if the Alabama sturgeon is to persist and survive extinction. Pallid sturgeon can grow to be six feet long and weigh about 80 pounds. This sturgeon is also critically endangered with wild spawning populations in decline. However, it is not nearly as rare as the Alabama sturgeon being much more widespread. This species is also not anadromous, living solely in freshwater. The pallid sturgeon is found in the Mississippi and Missouri rivers, as well as some of the surrounding drainages. Ranging along the Atlantic coast from Canada to Florida is the short-nosed sturgeon. This sturgeon stays true to its name relative to the other sturgeon species. As you can see in this picture, it does have a very short nose. Short-nosed sturgeon are only about two and a half to three and a half feet long and normally weigh about 10 to 14 pounds. This sturgeon is anadromous and unlike the previous species is not critically endangered. However, its status is vulnerable. With a greenish hue and an armored body, the green sturgeon can reach up to 7 feet in length and can weigh over 350 pounds. They're an olive green to a dark green in color, with a stripe on each side as well as a stripe on the belly. They're split into two populations, the northern and the southern, with only the latter being currently listed as endangered. Green sturgeon is another one of the anadromous sturgeon species, spending parts of their life out in the Pacific Ocean. Born in freshwater, but spending most of their lives out in the Gulf of Mexico, Gulf sturgeon are also anadromous. They grow up to be 9 feet long and weigh up to 300 pounds. As adults, they return upstream to freshwater to spawn. They can be found in the coastal rivers of Florida and Louisiana. The sturgeon is famous for its acrobatic leaps, which at times can be dangerous for boaters traveling at high speeds on these rivers. While the odds of being fatally struck by a jumping gulf sturgeon are very low, I did find one confirmed case of someone actually dying after being struck by a jumping gulf sturgeon while traveling on a boat in the Sewanee River. The gulf sturgeon is another sturgeon species that is listed as endangered. The most widespread and the smallest North American sturgeon is the shovelnose sturgeon. This sturgeon typically reaches 2-3 to three feet in length and rarely exceeds 5 pounds sometimes getting up to 10 pounds. They're often mistaken for juveniles of larger species due to their small size. 
They have a long filament found on the upper lobe of the caudal fin, but this is often broken off or missing by time they reach adulthood. And of course they have that shovel-like head which gives them their name. Unlike most sturgeons, they aren't currently listed as being endangered. They also aren't an anadromous species, spending the entirety of their life inland. The shovel-nosed sturgeon is found throughout the Mississippi and Missouri River systems. Majestic and slow-growing, lake sturgeon can live over 100 years old. They grow up to 8 feet long and can weigh more than 300 pounds. They reproduce and live entirely in freshwater. As their numbers have decreased, they are now of some conservation need, however they aren't currently listed as critically endangered like some of the other species on this list. They inhabit the Great Lakes and the Mississippi Basin. Another anadromous species that migrates from saltwater to spawn in rivers is the Atlantic sturgeon. They range from Canada all the way to Florida. They can reach lengths of 10 to 14 feet and can weigh over 800 pounds. Some populations are considered endangered, while others are slowly recovering thanks to habitat protections. White sturgeon is the titan of all the North American giants. The white sturgeon inhabits the Pacific Northwest from California's Sacramento River all the way up to Alaska. They are famously found in the Columbian River, which makes the Oregon-Washington border, as well as the Snake River on the Oregon-Idaho and Idaho-Washington borders. This fish can exceed 15 feet in length and weigh over 1,500 pounds, making them the largest freshwater fish in North America. I find it hard to comprehend a 1,500 pound freshwater fish, and hopefully someday I have the opportunity to see one that's even remotely close to that. It is believed that these fish can live to nearly 150 years old. The white sturgeon is world famous due to its enormous size. Most populations of white sturgeon are anadromous, however there are several landlocked populations such as the Kootenai River population. As adults, these river giants aren't easily confused with any other sturgeon, as they dwarf most other sturgeon species. Most populations of white sturgeon aren't yet considered endangered, but they are all at a vulnerable status. If you want to learn more about the wonderful species of fish found here in North America, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos in this series. Thank you so much for your support, and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you.